Hello everyone. Welcome back to Robo Request. You ask, we build. Have you ever wanted to control an LED matrix wirelessly to display emojis right from your phone or browser? Well, that's exactly what we are building today. A Wi-Fi controlled emoji display using an ESP32 and Max 72198 by 8 dot matrix. This is fun and interactive project which was requested by our awesome community. Special thanks to TUC, Creativity and New and for asking for a detailed tutorial. So let's get started. Components we will need one ESP32 dev board, one Mac 72198 by 8 LED dot matrix display, jumper wires, one micro USB cable and a Wi-Fi connection. Let's wear up. First the display to the ESP32. VCC or Matrix to 3.3V on ESP32, GND to GND, DIN to GPIO23, CS to GPIO5, CLK to GPIO18. Double check your connection before powering up. Now download the code and library files given in the description below. Open the code and library files if you have already downloaded the Arduino IDE. Otherwise download the Arduino IDE first. We start by importing these essential libraries, Wi-Fi.h to connect the USB32 to Wi-Fi, md underscore max 72xx to control the LED matrix, spi.h for communication between ESP32 and the matrix mobile. Here we define the hardware type of our matrix as fc under 16 underscore hw and specify data underscore pin to GPIO23, cs underscore pin to GPIO5, clk underscore pin to GPIO18. Now these are connected to the max 7219 module. We then create a matrix object to handle the display. Enter your Wi-Fi name and password to allow the USB32 to host a web server on port 80, the standard HTTP port. Now this section defines 10 different emojis using 8 bytes arrays. Each byte represents a row of 8 LEDs, on or off. We define bitmaps for emojis like heart, smile, sad, wink, angry and more. Now we map each emoji name like smile or wink to its corresponding bitmap. This makes it easier to display any emoji based on its string name later in the code. Now this function clears the matrix and then updates all 8 rows with the new emoji pattern. Here we will start a serial communication and initialize the matrix display. The ESP32 now tries to connect to your Wi-Fi. Once connected, it prints the IP address in the serial monitor. We start the web server and display the default emoji a heart. This checks if a new client is trying to access the ESP32's IP in a browser. Now we read the HTTP request which contains the emoji name clicked by the user. We compare the request URL to our emoji names. If there is a match, we display that particular emoji on the LED matrix. Now we create a simple HTML page containing 10 emojis button using Unicode character like a heart, smile, sad face, etc. Each button links to a different emoji. When a user taps a button, it sends a request to ASP32 and the corresponding emoji appears on the matrix. This part sends the HTML code back to the browser and then closes the connection. And that's it. Now we will upload the code to the USB32, plug a USB32 into the computer using the USB cable, select the correct board USB32 dev module, then go to the tools, select port where your USB32 is connected. Make sure to replace your Wi-Fi name and password here. Now click the upload button, the right facing arrow. If you see connecting and dots appears, just hold down the boot button until it starts uploading. Once uploaded, open the serial monitor and set the baud rate to 115200. You will see message like connecting to Wi-Fi and then the Wi-Fi is connected. An IP address will be displayed. Note down the IP address, open your device browser and type the IP address in the address bar in any web browser on the same Wi-Fi network and boom. You will see emoji buttons, tap any and watch your matrix comes to life. Now this project is a great introduction to web-based control, Wi-Fi server and visual IoT application. You can even extend it by adding animations or more emojis. If you enjoyed this build, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more fun DIY electronics with RoboAmi. Have a project idea? Drop it in the comments and your request might be the next. Thanks for watching. We will see you in the next Robo request.